this video we show you our top 10 places in Israel. Among them are of course Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, but also lesser known places at the Dead Sea or in the desert. Let yourself be inspired by this unbelievable diverse country. Israel offers beaches, culture, architecture, nightlife, history, religiosity, breathtaking nature, the most delicious food ever and incredibly nice people. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on our travels through Switzerland, Europe and many beautiful places in the world. Now we start with our number 10, Haifa. Haifa is a port city not far from Akko, the hanging gardens of the Baha'i religious community are worth to visit. The Baha'i live a universal religion that sees the earth as one country and all people as its citizens. Visiting the shrine of the Bab is a very special experience. There are many rules here, photos and videos recording are forbidden and everything seems very mysterious. Number 9. Nazareth Nazareth is in the Midlands of Israel. The city is mainly Arabic. While strolling through the old streets, a man and his daughter invited us to his home for tea. Simply that way, we had a great conversation and the homemade date biscuits were delicious. Incredibly hospitable people. The modern Basilica of the Annunciation supposedly stands on the spot where Mary lived. Nazareth is a foodie's dream. Here you must try baklava and knefe. Knefe are the sweet orange pastries with cheese. Delicious. And all of the food here is just unbeatable good. Number 8. Eilat. Eilat is located in the south of Israel at the Red Sea right next to Egypt and Jordan. Eilat is a popular seaside resort. The highlight of the area of Eilat is the Red Canyon. You can hike through the Red Canyon including one or two climbs, but it's doable for everyone. What a beautiful sight, those rounded red rocks. The beautiful, colorful rock formations of Amran columns are just 50 minutes from Eilat. Accessible by a dirt road, you are in the middle of the desert. Number 7. Mitzperamon and the Ramon Crater Mitzperamon in the Negev Desert is a small town on the edge of a fantastic gorge, the Ramon Crater. Here you can hike through the moonlight landscape and observe the wild animals. But even from the vantage point of the city you have a fantastic view. And the Ibexes are not shy at all. Number 6. Akko Akko, the old crusader city, is a seaside city with a very special charm. The people are incredibly friendly and there is a wonderful relaxed atmosphere in this Arabic-influenced city. The market in the old town is fantastic. There is a lot of fresh seafood here, right by the sea. Super fresh and super delicious. Number 5. The Death Sea Not far from Jerusalem in the desert lies the Death Sea. Just driving through the lonely landscape is a highlight. What a fantastic sight, what a spectacle of nature. And of course, we also wanted to swim in the Death Sea. And you really swim at the top, such fun. The evening mood at the Death Sea with the soft colors is particularly beautiful. This should not be missed. Number 4. Wadi or Wood Trail Another great experience is the desert hike by the Dead Sea on the Wadi or Wood Trail. The trail leads through a rough landscape in a gorge and along a watercourse to the hidden waterfall. We even saw a desert wolf on our way. 
unbelievable how there can be so much water in the middle of the desert and what a wonderful refreshment in these hot temperatures. The cooling felt so good, unforgettable beautiful. Number 3. Jerusalem. The center of three religions. The place of longing. Jerusalem also cast a spell on us. Everything inside the city wall breathes history. The streets lead through the old town like a huge bazaar. There's something to discover everywhere. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre, with its impressive dome, is the goal of many Christians when visiting Jerusalem. There's a very special devotional atmosphere here. And on we go to the Western Wall, the holiest place of the Jews. Not far from here leads the way to the Mount of Olives. Incredibly impressive. A bit like going back in time. Centuries old Jewish tombs are located here and this is a very sacred place. The best time of day to visit this place is in the evening. When the Dome of the Rock, the Muslim center of Jerusalem, shines in the golden evening sun. A truly exceptional place. So beautiful. A visit to the big market in a new town is also highly recommended. Here you can find all the delicacies you can imagine. And all around the market there are fantastic restaurants with modern Middle Eastern cuisine. But also delicious traditional restaurants. Number 2. Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv is an incredible, vibrant city with many young residents. You can find everything here. Modern architecture mixed with Bauhaus style and somewhat run-down buildings, street art and lonely alleys. It is particularly nice to stroll along the kilometer-long promenade. Here you have fantastic view of Jaffa and the endless beach. And of course, Tel Aviv also offers an endless range of culinary delights. But going to a simple hummus restaurant is always a highlight. And a visit to the camel market with its rich offers should not be missed when visiting Tel Aviv. Jaffa, the old part of Tel Aviv, is particularly charming. There is so much to discover here in the old streets and at the port. Tel Aviv is also known for its great nightlife and we always felt safe day and night, even in the dark alleys. And our number one, Masada. Masada is an ancient fortress on a high plateau above the Dead Sea. Herod has a palace built here. This place has a very special meaning for the Israelis. When the last rebellious Jews hold it up here in 72 AD, during the war against the Romans, they all committed suicide shortly before the Romans conquered them so as not to have to submit. For Israelis, this story represents Israel's resilience. With this myth and this fantastic view of the Dead Sea, this is a must-see place for us when visiting Israel. Israel has so much to offer and putting it in a highlight order isn't easy. Because the combination of the different impressions of this diverse country was incredibly inspiring for us. We were equally inspired by the people we felt so welcome in Israel. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.